hello friend welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i will show you how to configure slave dns server on centos centos 7 in my previous video i we already created the master server now in this video i'll show you how you can uh, configure and install the slave server slave dns server on centos 7 So in this slave server also, we use the bind package. So when the bind is configured on this slave server, it obtain the copy of the zone data from the master server by using the zone transfer method. So when after, after transferring the zone, if our master server goes down, then in absence of the master server, our uh, slave server will uh, work as a master server or can uh, can solve the DNS query. So it's just a uh, backup copy of our DNS, backup server of our DNS, you can say. So let's start how we can configure the slave DNS. So this is my machine, CentOS 7 machine having a minimal package installed and the local repository yum repository is already configured on the system i already disabled the sc linux and firewall is also disabled on this machine if you want to continue with the firewall then later you can add the dns port in the firewall so that it can allow the uh, dns traffic so let's start first of all i'm going to install with the basic packages on this system next is install the bind package all right the package is installed successfully now let's open the config file and here just comment out these two lines and here you need to add two lines here okay not on this let's first open the DNS server first This is my DNS server and here open the configuration file and here below the allow query line add line as allow transfer and then the slave IP also notify all right now by entering this allow transfer the slave can easily obtain the copy of the zone data from the master server save this configuration file now next thing is we need to define in the zone file of uh, master server the secondary dns server we need to entry make an entry of the secondary dns server in uh, the forward look of zone of the master server so open the forward lookup zone file and make an entry here like this.
secondary. The A record is already mentioned here, so it's fine now. So now for uh, the example.com, we have two name servers, uh, master and the slave. Save this configuration file and do the same for the reverse lookup zone. Save the file. All right, restart the con service. Check the status of the service. All right, now let's move to the secondary server or the slave server. Now on the slave server, open the configuration file and in the allow, allow query file, add the entry of the network. So that the other member of the network can query on this DNS server. save the file and you have to comment these two lines and save the file all right next thing is here at the end of the line make an entry for slave like this example.com type is slave and and here you have to define the master for master just do one thing we can do one thing like just remove these two entries here and here type masters 192.168.0.31 is our master server and location of the file slave slash example dot forward all right just verify once again the entry all right fine now now come to blue line you can entry one reverse look up copy these three lines here that's it save this file and now restart the service 
let's open another over here so that I can show you the logs. working fine all right as you can see here let me show you here zone example.com transfer started it connected to 31 transfer completed like this this is for forward lookup this is for reverse lookup so both the records or you can say the copy of zone data from master server is received at this slave end if you, if you want to check you can check it under where name slave ls as you can see the example.com forward and example.com reverse both the copy of the zone data is received at the slave side now next thing is let's let's make an entry of the name server so this is our slave server ip now ns lookup example.com as you can say we, we can easily resolve we are able to resolve the entry ping server dot example dot com our server is working fine so let's shut down our master server and try to check that our slave server is able to solve the dns query or not so let's shut down the master server as you can see that i am not able to ping the master server so let's try to resolve the query dns query server.example.com you can see i am able to query so it's just because that the slave is having the zone data of the master server just because of that it's able to query the dns it's able to query the dns and names secondary you check the c name or the canonical name it able to point out towards the server.example.com www it's also able to point to server.example.com let's check the mx entry for example.com yes we are able to query the MX entry as well and let's check the reverse lookup as you can see that you are able to query the reverse lookup as well for 32 also the secondary dot example dot com and if we check like 168.0.40 is our mail server all right so it's not query one minute so we have to put 68 here so as you can see mail.example.com in the same way so we can so in this way you can configure the slave server on CentOS 7 slave DNS server so that's all in this video if you like this video then please like and subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video and have a good day